Hello, prospective AP Chinese students. So, this is a comprehensive overview of the AP Chinese Cultural Presentation Guide brought to you by me, Kevin Chang, for the five on the AP test last year. And uh, this is also provided to you by Innovis Academy. So, a forenote. The reason um, I find this guide to be the most important is that most students find the cultural presentation section the hardest part of the entire AP Chinese exam. Furthermore, it's the last the section of the AP Chinese exam when students feel the most psychological pressure to do well. For example, if you kind of messed up on previous stages, you would really want to try to do well here at the last leg of the race to even out your score in the end, right? So, an uh, overview, it's worth around 18 points, so the last, it's the last section of the test, like I mentioned before, it's 6 minutes long, you have 4 minutes to plan, and 2 minutes to present. So, the main goals are to assess the student's ability to speak fluently and with good vocabulary, their interpersonal and interpretive skills, their expression when using Chinese language, and their ability to communicate information effectively with the Chinese language. And uh, most importantly, their understanding of the Chinese culture. So how to prepare? The most important part is to learn as much about the Chinese culture as possible, casting a wide net. By Chinese culture, I mean stuff like the custom, the etiquettes, from the clothing, history, everything, okay? So you want to make a list and narrow down all of the possible topics that will uh which will help while you're gathering information. Then write and memorize an outline for each topic. So for each topic, you want to be able to describe it in good detail and state its significance. Both parts are equally important. So you will need to also learn how to manage and control the amount of time you spend for each point of your presentation, each section that you have plotted out during the planning phase. This can only be done through lots of practice presenting and speaking so one of the hardest parts of the cultural presentation is to find the significance of the cultural topic so finding the significance is very crucial if you take a look at the questions which I'll show later on every single question asks you to state the significance as well so usually if you're having trouble with finding the significance ask yourself uh, these questions about your topic so what impact uh, has this topic had on the Chinese culture in general? What role does this topic play in our culture today? Why is this topic important to the Chinese culture and how does it represent Chinese people overall? So here is a general list of topics I've compiled. There's of course many other topics that you could use. Um, you should, I generally suggest you make your own list I've also done research for uh, many other uh, topics as well. The reason why I will not share with you the research I've done is that you need to do it yourself in order to have a good understanding in general of each and every topic. So next is how to approach a question. So during the actual AP test, the prompt will be played via an audio recording only during uh, the actual test, once again. So you have to understand exactly what the prompt is asking for. So because no matter how perfectly the presentation is delivered, as long as it is off topic, then you receive a scoring of no higher than three, right? So the third step is to choose your topic. So this should all happen in like under 10 seconds, okay? You will not get extra points for choosing uh, a more quote-unquote challenging topic okay for example if the topic is to talk about a Chinese emperor choosing Qing Shi Huang will be the uh, same as choosing some obscure emperor that nobody knows about okay to be honest the vast majority of people will choose Qing Shi Huang since they're more familiar with him it's a safer bet like you can easily recall a lot of details about Qing Shi Huang straight up like Zhou Hou Guo, Ta Tong Yi Le, Zhong Guo, uh, stuff like that um so next, uh, the fourth step is you want to plan out what you're going to say on a piece of paper given to you by the proctor. So from my experience, or you could take this as a grain of salt, you could do it however you want, okay? So you should start with roughly dividing paper into two different sections, one that describes your topic and one that states its significance to the Chinese culture. You then add more detail from there in bullet points, list them out in chronological order that you plan to present them in. 
So I usually divide the first part into three further parts, like body paragraphs, you know, and stuff you see in essays and all that. So elements such as fluid transitions are very important, and vocabulary and all that. However, you only have four minutes to plan. And the reason why you don't want to, like, straight up write a script for you is that it'll sound, when you actually read it out loud, you lose that lively sense. It'll sound very monotone and robotic, and you're going to lose points on your expression while you're um, presenting it. So you'll want to come up with these things, like the transitions, while you're presenting, like on the spot, okay? So another important note is that it really doesn't matter what language you uh, choose to write the rough draft in. Like, the proctors will just give you, like, a piece of scratch paper. You just... um. Pick whichever language is fastest for you. Some people pick Chinese because when they uh, cause they don't have to like mentally translate it. Um, some people choose English because that's their first language and it's faster for them to plan that way. Okay, so the proctors are not going to actually. Yeah, I don't think the proctors are going to check those papers. I think they just recycle them or throw them away at the end. So the fifth. Um, step is to present okay you want to present like you're speaking to an audience because this section is partially designed to test your interpersonal skills for example you want to add something like a 大家好,今天我想介绍 your topic and in, uh, in the beginning and in the end something like 谢谢大家听我的演讲 so at the same time you don't want to like introduce yourself in depth I, I've seen a lot of people do that because that would be going off topic and remember going off topic is a big no-no you you don't want to say something like hi my name is blah 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 I've had this experience with the topic, just um talk about the topic and its significance. You want to make the your presentation as fluid as possible by adding transitional f uh, f phrases as little filler words or hesitation as possible and use sophisticated language and vocabulary. So if you want to get good Chinese vocabulary, the best way to do that is just read. Okay just consume all sorts of Chinese media, preferably reading. Okay, so a very important note. And this caught me off guard uh, when I was taking a test. So during the test, everyone will be presenting at the same time, okay? So I was wondering, how they were, how are they going to do that? Like, you're in front of a small computer, and you have to lean in really close to the mic, because there's like 90 kids talking at the same time, uh, trying to compete each other uh, in terms of volume, it's very loud and hard to concentrate. You want to prepare for this scenario beforehand. And some recommended resources. There are cultural notes at the back of the Baron book. And uh, I don't really find those to be too helpful. They're quite brief. They are, you could just memorize them, I guess. Uh, the Ma Pin Chinese books are very helpful. They were very helpful to me, but I guess you only can get access to them in the Bay Area. So... Google. Google is your best friend. Uh, so you want to research each topic that you prepared online in depth. So you're, so how to prepare each topic. So you can go through past exam questions or you could just come up with plausible ones yourself. You could compile them just um, or use like the general list that I presented like at the beginning as a starting point. Here's some helpful links for like the previous exam problems, how they're gonna be graded on the official college board website, Quizlet, stuff like that. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can visit our website.